intro. Okay, and that new intro to the Back of the Shul <laughs> podcast was brought to you by Shut Up. <laughs> <laughs> was brought to you by the law firm of, of, of Cease and Desist. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna tell everybody who is who is listening. We recorded like twenty five minutes and it was utter crap. And and we are we just cut out all of it. We just started arguing. Like it was we started arguing. twenty minutes of us just arguing about what we wanted to do and not do. Yeah, we were literally arguing, and and I'm sorry to like start off season three of, of the back of the show podcast. Yeah, that's right. We're up to season three. Um, I'm so, I'm sorry to to start it off like this, but yeah, we legit were just arguing for 25 minutes on on over nothing. Like I don't even know what we were arguing about. I think it was something with communism. The name, the, the word communism came up in regards to to WhatsApp statuses. So I'll I'll leave everybody else to do the the mental calculations. But yeah, this is the uh, the season three back of the show podcast. We're back. It's been a while. Uh, Menachem's out of rehab. Joe um, just uh, built an extension to his mansion that he's currently in in the in the studios, and I have a mic. I have a mic because my audio is terrible. Um, so yeah, we're 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 back. I think I've mentioned that three times already, and. I feel like let's, I don't know. Let's just let's just address the 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 elephant in the room. The fact that we've been away for like three months. Um, hey, <laughs> <laughs> it seems about right. Seems What's about up right for, an, <laughs> for an opening? The, the only way that it could have been worse would, would be like if we do like the classic yeshiva when when you see a guy you haven't seen in about six months, you see him pace like his manim, like right, so. Right. So the, the conversation is like, where are you like, learning? Exa- yeah, yeah. No, no. It's like, where are you learning? Uh huh. Uh-huh. How how are what, you? What are you learning? Once you hit the like, what are you learning? Right. <laughs> the conversation is done. Stop, yeah. Hard stop. You start looking around for someone else to talk to. If, if you're ever in a conversation and that's what the conversation turns to, then you're just in trouble. It's not. To, it's to not be honest, great. the barometer the barometer for it is: Does this sound? like the dialogue that would happen in a, an elementary school play? And if the answer to that question is yes, stop the conversation right away and just walk away. Yeah, yeah, what, what, Hi, Maishi. How what are you learning? Are you? What are you learning is the, is the universal sign of like, go screw yourself. Like, I, I couldn't care less about you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I feel like, we, yeah, we need, to, we need to address the elephant in the room. Um, and kind of win back our, our audience, you know, the many thousands of, of um, listeners that we've accumulated over these these glorious two seasons. Um, so we were, like, kicking kicking around ideas. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> we're just going to, like, ignore the 20 minutes that we spent arguing about. What if, you, <laughs> if you say what, we, what I told you I'm not doing, we're going to have a problem again. <laughs> Okay, basically, I had an idea that would have entailed Menachem probably working 36 hours straight. And I'm tempted to say it, but I'm not going to out of, out of, out of respect for him and the fact that I just cursed him out three minutes before we, <laughs> <laughs> three minutes before I, I we mean, started. I say it, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> okay, so we're not getting back into this discussion yeah. again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so basically, I, you know, I, I mean, we, we were thinking of a few things. We were thinking of a charity campaign. Um, we were thinking of knocking on doors, sending out letters, but I, I think, I think we landed on, on a pretty good idea while we were screaming at each other. Um, and that is, we're, we'll bring on, we'll bring on listeners this, this season. We'll, we'll we're not going to call it like, we're not gonna be cheesy like that and call it season of the listener, but we'll, that's what we're that's what we're aiming towards. This season, I say we season, go for it. I say we go for it. Let's call it season, season of the listener. Of the listener. Oh, I go, season I say of the we listener. Go for it. <laughs> you know what? Let's we'll tweet out season of the listener eyeball emoji. <clears throat> By the time you listen to this, you'll have already seen it. Um, and yeah, we'll leave everybody to. Right, and then know. just go dark. Go dark on Twitter again. Yeah, but then <coughs> we'll, we'll release an episode. I don't know soon. Um, but yeah, the point is, this will be the the season of the listener and. We are formally inviting you, Baruch Shavach Vahida, um, to come on the back of the shul. I, I'm not going to say. Okay, don't send in applications to Menachem. <laughs> I, I said. I, I said don't send it in. He said don't. I, 
Did I did I not say don't? I, I said don't. The record shows that Shlomo said don't. You, you, you did. That, that is a fact. You did say don't. Right. I said don't. I said don't send it. It would be a real shame if everybody oh, okay. spammed so that, the WhatsApp. What <laughs> it would be a real shame if everybody sent in their applications to, to, to be a guest on the back of the Shul podcast uh, to, to the WhatsApp. But I'm just saying it would be a real shame. So definitely don't do that. And definitely don't DM us on Twitter uh, to, to, be, um, to be on the Shul. But basically, oh, that but here's going to be your problem. <laughs> okay. So here's here, here's the thing. In order to, to we'll figure out the rest and we'll, and we'll post the rest uh, at at a later date. You must be subscribed to the WhatsApp though. It's not enough to be a Twitter follower. You must be subscribed to to or the Instagram. WhatsApp. Instagram. Don't forget we have like five of those. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, you have to be on on on. Uh, uh, yeah, you have to be subscribed to the WhatsApp or Instagram. How, how about we do that? Okay. Twitter doesn't count because we hate Twitter. And, but. Yeah. And, and, also, and we don't and we don't check Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So and and we're here. We're formally inviting uh, listeners on. There'll be one listener per per episode. Um, and please, like, if you're gonna make like, you know, you got to get the show. You got to get the show. We'll figure out the details. Uh, but you got to get the show. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll come hang. You know, uh, and and come chill. We have 93 followers on Instagram. Really? I thought we had like 10. Wow. Okay. Sick flex. Oh, okay. So yeah, oh. we had to just pause for a couple of seconds because Menachem <clears throat> decided to dump a tub of ice cream on his uh, on his keyboard. But let's get right into things. Again, we'll 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 let you know you guys know the details about uh, you know the ensuing episodes and listeners coming on the the podcast. So let's get let's get right into to minion updates. Um, I have, Wait, so after all that, we're not even discussing how they're supposed to come on. No, <coughs> we'll, we'll we'll tell them after. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, once we figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Sure, whatever. Future future us future us. We'll tell them. Um, okay. So I I'll, I'll start with the with the minion updates, and it's actually references something that we've talked about before on the show, and that is the you know if a guy is in it walks into a milk restaurant, right? Take away his man card. Now, obviously, there are exceptions. Meaning, if you're on a date, right? Whether you know shidduch dating or, or you know, with your wife, that's totally excusable. So, I just went to to Primavera and Muncie the the other day. Um, is my you know for my wife's birthday, we we you know we went out to to milk a restaurant. Now, granted, the entire time I I felt like you know what I just do not belong here. Like this is this is not this is not my scene as a as a guy, but whatever, it's fine. You know, I, I we, we, we went out there, um, sitting behind us was, and I know that they're from this yeshiva. I know there are listeners. We have listeners in this yeshiva where a group of guys there in the middle of the day for lunch, just a group of guys in a milk restaurant. I nearly vomited. Like you got to ask questions. I, I know the question that I had was, do I go, like in person to the Rosh Hashiva or, or do I call him up? Like it, it was, I, I was so bothered throughout the entire like lunch date with, with my wife. I'm like busy commenting like, you know what? Maybe the Rosh Hashiva should stop talking about like the, the evils of smartphones and focus on the fact that Bachram and his Yeshiva are hanging out in a milk restaurant. I'm just, you, have I'm, to, I mean, you have to be Don Lakabzichos a little bit. Maybe one of them, like if he didn't eat, Right away, he would die, so he had to come in <laughs> to the restaurant, like you know, like the like the McDonald's right. thing. I'm I'm just picturing, you know, right afterwards, Shlomo going to the yeshiva with a loudspeaker. Chava, <laughs> give up. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard. I, I I legit like. I know we have listeners in that yeshiva in Muncie for post-Israel guys. Rhymes with. Rav Nushered Rice. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, it was like it was like four guys. Like I, I, I don't know. I don't mean to like be you know old man yelling at cloud, but in my day, I mean, we we never did this. We're like a group of Bachram going out to a milk just, restaurant. Sorry, I mean, uh, uh, sorry if I sound sorry if I'm not so progressive. You know, like uh, and, and and today's so, Bachar goes to a milk restaurant, but I, I found it infuriating. So I have a very interesting <laughs> question though on that. If there, if a milkshake restaurant has an all-you-can-eat option, is that okay to go into? No, 
No, it's not okay. But it's all you can eat. Like, so if a guy my... gets thrown out of an, uh, a milk restaurant for eating too much, does it's... he lose his man card? I say yes, then. Why? I, c- I could hear. Because it's all you can but eat. why? Because so, getting thrown out of an all you can eat is like a... That's a real... That makes one into a gatherer. So, wait, wait. Let's, 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 let's workshop this. Like, what are you... What's on the all you can eat, like... Penny a la vodka? I'm sorry. Like anything, anything. No, no, that's that's ridiculous. I don't think I've never really been to one of these, so I I don't really know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Neither. Well, yeah, you know why? Because you're normal. Like <laughs> you're a guy. You don't. Yeah. It, it's that. I, in in my opinion, that actually makes it worse. Like a group of Bachram, you know. Like so, where should we? Go? Oh, I hear like Milchig Restaurant X has an <laughs> right. all you can eat buffet. It's like. <laughs> I mean, I feel like people did that. I feel like Ramon had something like this in Israel. But it was, I don't I mean, I never did it. It, all, it also might have been because it was really early in the morning and there was no chance I was ever getting up that early. But I don't, I, I don't know. I, I mean, like I did the Fleishig all you can eat. But not yeah, that's okay. I've done that also. But I'm just, I'm sorry. Like okay. in a milk right. restaurant, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. That's that's my main right. update. It was very bothered. Like I was, I was legit bothered. Yeah, I, I, yeah. We we realized that it bothered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone who's listening to this realizes that it bothers you. You know what? But, you know what? Just one second. You know, we okay. we have. Yeah, I'm just saying. If you're a listener, if your son, if you if you let's say you have a parent of of someone. Again, I'm not naming the yeshiva rhymes with Rav Nasher Rice, but I'm just saying, like, if if you have. Uh, a son in that yeshiva maybe maybe give him a call see where he's been the last <coughs> few days you know if he's been to like unsavory areas like who cares I'm, that's not the point i'm saying the, the point is ask him if he's been to to, to a milk restaurant recently yeah, and almost, then Shlomo's starting a new campaign where it's, it's it's one o'clock in the afternoon do you know if your son's in a milk restaurant yeah donate to my charity link There's raise still it still ice Drive cream up. on my keyboard whatever <laughs> okay, okay yeah sorry um, yeah sorry yeah i don't mean to take too um, much time go no, yeah, so my minion update is I th- I realize that this is just both of us just continuing to rail on stuff that we've hated in the past. <laughs> I, I really hate small Sefer Torah. I had to lane from one recently. It was like the size of one of those, like the little kid's Sefer Torah on, on, uh, on right, Simchas Torah. Yeah. Simchas Torah. It's like I, my face was like inside the Sefer Torah and I still can't read it. It was a disaster. But yeah. Um, another thing is that people, I feel like, I feel like we've also discussed this before. <laughs> this is really just, <laughs> but I, I don't know we discussed it. Season, season three, it's, fresh content. <laughs> but like people need to realize that most people open their WhatsApp statuses in the bathroom. Like it's a problem. Like you can't, you can't be posting like to him or Torah. Right. Your, like you just can't. Right. Right, it's just not something you can do, and it's a huge problem. And I, I can't be the only one that has has this problem. We have to. Maybe we should raise awareness for it, like we did with. What did we raise awareness for? I don't know. Hamel Hamish, but yeah. No, no well, uh, li- uh, check, check your, your with fish. fish. Yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. So, yeah, it is. It bit. is. It is an issue. Hang on, Joe. Just, just, just one second. Have any of you made the mistake of saying a capital tell in, in the bathroom? Because like or clicking a WhatsApp status because I have I've made that mistake. Clicking the WhatsApp status, yes, I've never actually said it, but I, I was like about to. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I don't usually say it even when I'm out in the bathroom, so no, I didn't. I never <laughs> made that mistake. <laughs> have you ever? Sorry. Did, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. What What was you know? This is actually a really good question. Sorry, Joseph. Before you go, yeah. What was the first time that you didn't forward the mass to Hillam text that you were supposed to forward to five people? Please don't break the chain. What was the first, first time, time I got and, it? I've never ever done that. Yeah, never oh, come did on. It. No, I'm sorry. No. I don't buy it. Never. When you because first got I, your phone, when you first got your phone, you forwarded it. No, I didn't, get a texting. I didn't get a cell phone until much later than most people. The did. only one I ever did, actually, you're right. When I first got a smartphone, the first WhatsApp one that I got. I forwarded and then immediately received an angry reply from someone. So I never did it again. <laughs> I love it. Please don't text me about someone else's sorrow and pain and suffering. You are clogging up my inbox. You've probably taken up point oh 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 one. Uh, I don't know, whatever the size is, not megabyte. What's the one below it? A bit? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit smaller than a byte. I don't know. Depends if it's an underbyte. 
Okay, Joe, go, you go. Anyhow, um, <laughs> mine is, so you know how YouTube has gotten very <laughs> cocky with the ads, right? That they'll have like a 10 second ad and then another five second ad that you can skip. Or like the 30 second ads. Right. I feel like the, uh, uh, I feel like the duck organizations have gotten that kind of aggressive and that kind of cocky. So I made a donation, not to brag. I made a donation to a certain Sadako organization. And I think in the past 10 days, I've gotten double digit texts and emails from them. Right now, I'll get something, let's say, from like everybody that does like Romare Balanis, right? So you'll get it once a month or something like that. You'll get something from them. But this organization sent me, I think, somewhere in the range of seven or eight texts about their one of their events that was going live on on something and they just kept telling it and i didn't donate by text i i I didn't donate by email i donated in person but they were getting very very cocky and wow big big sadaka is tracking and listening in on conversations hold on so i'm not done yet so i thought like okay that's the end (laughs) he's not done yet (laughs) then i come home i come home twice in the past two weeks i've gotten mail from them also so like they're not just doing the digital portion. I think it does think, sound like those those ads that you get on your phone after you Google something. I was just gonna say, I think it's time we as a from society had a discussion about big Tadaka and it's eavesdropping on our on our daily lives. It, it actually reminds me, I, I just renamed my fantasy baseball team Anderson Windows and Doors because I have Tim Anderson and I started getting ads for Anderson. Nobody Windows cares about your fantasy everywhere. team, sorry to steal from part of my take. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, they're getting really really aggressive. I get phone calls now. I get. I mean, like, I spoke to the wow. person who I spoke to the person who was collecting for that organization. Do we want to put this organization on blast? Which one was it? I, I, I don't, don't do it. But, I don't think we should. Do that. But uh, <laughs> no, yeah, this it, is how we do it. We put them on blast and then say, "Do you want to be a sponsor?" And we'll hold it over their heads like blackmail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this that, clip that is going seems live. like a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have deep pockets. Either that or they're just going to send out their minions to post in their status 800 times. Probably it's getting out of well. hand. They say all press is good press, though, so I mean, if we... Well, I mean... I mean, not all press. Right. Not all of it. Right. <laughs> yeah. But anyhow, yeah, that's why I'm just, uh, my, my minion. It, it, is, it is a problem, but I, some, some of it doesn't make sense because you had to have, you had to have some sort of digital footprint. No, but I don't need it in person. You probably did something else. I don't know. I'm, I may have given my phone number, but they got my email address. They got my address. I mean, it was interesting. And and it wasn't like it wasn't like it was. Oh, thank you for your donation, or something like that. Or here's the campaign we're doing. It's like going live now. You know, it's it's very aggressive and very in your face. Right. I actually started getting emails about a about a camp a campaign. Maybe it's the same one. Maybe we're talking about the same one from. I mean, remember remember the food pickups and everything like that. So I haven't gotten a box in since last since August of, of of last year. I stopped stopped going, but I'm still getting emails like from like these their their campaigns and everything from the yeshiva that was like where where the food box was. I mean, whatever our monthly listeners will know where this is, but like it's it's a little bizarre because it's like yeah, I all I did was just like use your driveway like. Why am I well, indebted to government. <laughs> like, you? Didn't, government the, the actual yeshiva didn't give the food. Like I didn't, I didn't get the food from you. I just, I literally just used your driveway. <laughs> like, what actually oh. debt do I owe you? <laughs> you know, this reminds me. I don't know why. I guess maybe it's Daka connection. But there's a guy outside of Gourmet Gla who he collects the Daka, and every Friday when you walk by him, if you give him something, he tells you, "Oh, uh, good Shabbos, good Chodesh." Like no matter what. Real, like even if why. it's like Erev Rosh Chodesh. Well, meaning even if it's not Erev Rosh Chodesh, right, like even, even if it's, it's the middle of the month. even if it's just like in the middle of the month. I mean, like, I'm not really sure why. I mean, it's not, it's but, not, it's not, it's not bad. Yeah, like, like it's, you could have a good you'll, month. Yeah, you'll take month it. Actually, you know, I, I think, I think I know why because you know how the, uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's a Gemara. I can't remember offhand if it's Gemara, Chazal, whatever it is. Like, if someone says, you know, uh, a greeting, extends a greeting, you're supposed to like one up the greeting. That's where all the keeping up with the Joneses and one upping each other came from. Um, oh like God, if someone says good, everywhere. Could you, <laughs> he's still on this Sorry. strawberry ice cream. It's everywhere. <laughs> he eats a strawberry ice cream, calls it the best, eats it with a fork, and then spills it everywhere. I already um, told you I don't have a dairy spoon. 
Um, whatever. But yes. Oh, yeah. So what I was saying is that basically he's like putting all his chips in the middle. Like if he says good Shabbos, so you're supposed to say uh, you're supposed to say you know good Shabbos and uh, good Chaydesh, right? So basically he's just forcing you to up your ante. And you know what you should do next time, like he says that to you, just say like. Uh, in the next Chaydish or uh, dude, you yeah, know, like, like, like start upping it like I get No, I've been <laughs> just cover yourself for the next 50 years. But you know, what's really annoying saying, well, I'm not saying accidentally on Rosh Chodesh. Yeah. Cause you're just, when, cause every time I feel like when I get up to it, I'm just wanting to not say it. And then every Rosh Chodesh I forget and I'm either like halfway through or finished with them. Like, oh. yes, that <laughs> and saying Mizmor, Mizmor Lasada on Erev Pesach. Oh yes, yeah, so that's annoying. The kind of, that's the kind of thing you'll only notice when you have the time to read through the Hebrew, you know, and read and translate the Hebrew by Ms. Melissa, because you're not going to remember during davening itself. It's it's yeah, it's, it, it, it's the same thing. Like it go, it all goes together because like you know we've spoken very candidly about the fact that none of us remember Hamelach Hamish, but ever, right? And it's the same time period, right, where you always remember Ms. Melissa, even like when you're not supposed to say it. Right. It's it's weird. It's weird like that. Do you do you think anyone like ever in the history of the world has ever said the Rosh Chodesh addition to Alamechia? Like no. Just I, I'm talking about like in a regular Rosh Chodesh, like not like Shabbos where you like maybe some people say it on Shabbos. I feel like 99 percent of people don't even say it on Shabbos. But, like if you're gonna say it on Shabbos, maybe you'll remember if it's Shabbos and Rosh Chodesh. Like right. on a regular weekday Rosh Chodesh, like I don't think anyone ever has said it. Right? So I, I like want to take that be. question. I want to take that question right. and, and bump it up a little bit. Do you think anyone in the history of Yiddishkeit has ever had a perfect year where they've nailed every Yal No, Yalva, of course not. Every... Well, that's, that's ridic- Do you think if that's it, possible? Yosef, nobody's. We we just established that nobody's even ever I'm said the Alamich. The... I'm saying like like these Joel, super Jews, you know. Okay, so but Joe, let me ask you. Let me ask you straight up. If someone said to you that they remembered every Yal whether it's davening or benching, I'm not even going to say alamechia. Like, forget it. Alamechia, forget about it. Like, no one has ever said it. I don't even know what it is. What is it? Like, I have no the, idea. I have no idea. Like, I, I have no idea what it is. It's I would so, be very if skeptical. Someone, it, my, but there are a lot. Of course, of you would never the trust the guy. If, okay, let's 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 uh, play a hypothetical. Guy comes over to you, potential business deal, right? And somehow in the conversation, he mentions that he hit every yalvi of it that year. Are you signing a contract with that guy? No way. No way! This guy is a liar. He's a straight up liar. He's duplicitous. Entire, he'll he'll backstab you. Over the entire history of, of Jews, though, you don't think there was one perfect season? No. No. And, and Moshe Rabbeinu himself told me that he said every every Yalav Yavai. I'd say he's a liar. Sorry. I, what I, about I, if we limit it? Hold on. What if we limit it to davening things? Meaning just I davening related. Yosef, forget about like everything, all whatever you're gonna say. I don't even think that there's someone who ever remembered like all of the Alva Yavos. Like I think maybe it's possible, I but I don't even think I that disagree. happened. If you want to tell me something How? like, like Hamel, every Hamel, single or... Yalav Yavo? Yeah. Oh yeah, and Hamel, Hamel like Yosef, how could you even ask this question? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I the think fact I that think... we're even having this discussion is insane. I think that it's definitely possible. I think you're insane. How I, mean, I know I agree with you. A perfect year is crazy, right? But but hitting every all of the other over the course of a year, I don't think that's so crazy. That that maybe that might have happened. Okay, now let's extrapolate. Oh. How far can we push this envelope? Right. Let's say every Hamela Hakadosh. Add add that to to the list. I don't. Think okay, so. uh, maybe because you have to repeat it. Maybe. I, someday I want to see how far we can push this. So, Everyone. By the way, Hamela gets all the uh, gets all the hate that that Micha Micha. That's the one that's that's I really. I feel like overlooked. I remember those more than Hamel Hamishma. Like I've I've had years when I've remembered those a good amount of time. Like yeah, until enough, we started our remember, whole Hamel Hamishma thing, after, I don't think I ever said it. You always anyway. remember after you finish the bracha. Nobody ever remembers. <laughs> oh, actually, it's coming up soon. But like Nachim. <laughs> oh yeah, that's also another one. Because like, how am I supposed to remember? It? I yeah, know it's like, only once a year, pop- and you, you try to say it, but like. Well, that's it's, the the, it, scroll, it's in the like a random bracha in the huge. middle. Right. Oh, yeah. Maybe, I guess if I would use one of those, there's probably Yeah, those are huge. Chance. Right, because even if you didn't realize that you said it, you were just scanning the page anyway. So like, No, you can't forget that you said that, though. You know if you said nothing. No, I'm saying if you use the art scroll kinnis, right? 
Yeah. So usually your mind's on autopilot at that point in in Shemana Esrei. So even if you don't, well, even no, if you just by scan mincha already by Mincha, you're yeah. already like a, you have a right redo whatever. You're already so also you're, like, you're, you're, like, your you're thinking like, oh, am I going to the Chavetz Chaim Heritage video? Am I doing that? And the answer is <laughs> that is never depends. something that I've ever thought. <laughs> it depends on when you dive in Mincha because if you dive in Mincha, if you're diving at the late Mincha, you're already completely checked out. So, well, you're also a psycho. We've covered this before, but yeah, you're also, a, psycho- it, you're also but, a psychopath if you dive yeah. at the at the at the later mincha. You probably are the type of person if you're diving at the later mincha on Tisha B'av, that claims that they said every every yalvi during the I year. Hear that. That's that's fair. Yeah, I think that's a good bow to, bow on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. You know another thing that I noticed? My neighbor yeah. has a basketball hoop, right? And it's made the very ob- very very observant of you. <laughs> it says Goliath glass on it. Apparently that's the company. It's like I, and I was just I don't know. I was sitting in my backyard one day, looking at him, just thinking like, is that really the name that you want to call your glass? Like, if you throw a pebble <laughs> at it, it'll break. Like, I don't. Did, did you someone, too can be Daryl Dawkins. <laughs> did someone not know the history, or did it just sound good, or they didn't think about it, or they just hope nobody else would notice that? That would be actually a great ego booster if you if you had a company of backboards that just shattered every time, like. <laughs> <laughs> like a seven foot hoop <laughs> and everybody thought that they were Shaq or Daryl Dawkins or whatever. <laughs> and call it Goliath. <laughs> just and then they complain, just say, I guess you're really strong. I'm sorry. Yeah. Actually, that's a great company regardless. Like it's just a company dedicated to products that boost people's egos. <laughs> it's like those those breakable chairs in the movies. Yeah. Right, the, but, the sugar glass bottles and yeah, so it makes people whether, whether yeah whatever it is whether it's a strength or, or looks or whatever, I, yeah we're, we're we're cooking now. Yeah, it's we're, a, we're, a, gonna, we're gonna have to brainstorm this later when we're brainstorming it'll be available how we're yeah. gonna get listeners on the podcast. <laughs> send in your application. Send in your application. Send in your application. <laughs> Don't send them. I'm not gonna read them. <laughs> Someone's gonna take the cut of that audio and play it underneath the audio for the rest of the for the rest of the podcast. The subliminal. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but all these items are going to be available on backoftheshul.store.com. dot com. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, right. we have to buy that before someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, someone right. else might take it, and <laughs> we'll just get like dot blog spot. <laughs> yeah. I remember, like, remember. Okay, by now I think they all they they all still still have it, but like all the. All the, you know, a blog is a from blog if it has like dot blogspot or like dot blogger dot com, like you know that's only the from blog still still have that like um, oh, what were some of the popular ones? Like juiced up, at, oh, or be quiet. <laughs> are you talking about like failed messiah or whatever? Or yeah, no, stuff? but that that was type pad. That was type pad. No, the fringy ones were type pad, oh. like 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 failed messiah. But uh, I don't know. Okay, whoever's listening, uh, you know. Uh, the listeners, please, please uh, re- refresh my memory. I think there was like oh, something with a- the, the middle way. Uh, what was it called? Cross currents. Cross currents was was one. Um, There's shit. one that my friend says that all their all the wives use. I can't remember what it's called. I feel something like Ima something. Mother, oh, I, Ima mother or I'm a mother. It's a good. It's a good hop because it's I am a mother. Uh, oh, is that? I only saw it typed out. Yeah, is so it, it could be. And that's, what, and that's, what that's is. the thing. Is it supposed to be both? Or that's did that's just the puzzle. That? I knew that's what you were that's thinking. The <laughs> that's the puzzle. Okay, how I met your mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So for anyone who was in Masifta from 20... In the mid-aughts or late... 2010, uh, Or yeah, early 2010s, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. so that's, that's always that's always the, the debate. I'm a mother, I'm a mother. Um, our, to our female listeners, let us know which one which one it is. By the way, they can only let us know by typing it out. So right, we're <laughs> it doesn't help at all. Well, no, in WhatsApp they can send voice notes. Send in your application to our, our WhatsApp. Don't send in your application. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, before we get to to, to the to the Mizrafant, um, our Mizrafant today, by the way, is a Mizrafant of Jewish accomplishments. But I, I had like having a like having a third season of a podcast. Is yeah, exactly. Like... Big accomplishment, Chazaka, Chazaka. Huge. Sure. Wait, tell me you realize yeah. that means you can never give it up now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess not. Um, Joe, is is one of your kids up? No, that's not me. Someone's music is playing. Yeah, it's not coming from me. 
I don't know. I'm okay, your neighbors again. Well, are Yosef? Can you hear anything? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Menachem, maybe turn off that uh, little Nas X. <laughs> no, maybe my roommates. My roommates playing something. I don't know if they could hear that. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's probably. Maybe he's watching him. like sports. After you know, Yachmil Begun sends the cease and desist, <laughs> we'll use whatever he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had I had a couple of Shmanesri thoughts. Now, since we've been gone for three months, I probably have a few hundred Shmanesri thoughts, but I'll, I'll, I'll limit it to just a just a couple. Oh, I also have a Shmanesri thought. But yeah. Been, so, <sighs> so one of them. Okay, which one should I start with? I wrote, I wrote a couple of them down. Okay, you ever, you ever think that any of the Kylem that are part of Adopt a Kylem ever have that identity crisis or whatever? Like they, they have a thing like, "You're not my real dad," you know, type <laughs> type, type, <laughs> type of moment like for for the Gvirim that <laughs> or the, the Kylas that adopt. <laughs> You're not my real race, Kylem. <laughs> I don't know. I just I was just thinking of that. I feel like there's a yes, whole I started genre. laughing during Shmanesri. Sue me, okay? There's a, there's a whole genre of adopt hotel jokes that I think uh, I think yeah. could, could be put at play there. Okay, and, and another one. Okay, I have two more. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Another is one is... Shmanesri thought or Shmanesri thoughts? Yeah, Shmanesri thoughts, I guess. It was a very productive Shmanesri. Um, I guess the, the second one is, and for Hasidish listeners, do Hasidim eat meatballs? Yes. Why that, they I feel like meatballs? it's a very Litvish or like American no, thing. Do. Like it's very unheimish thing. Meatballs. Do you see the meat meatballs? They I mean, do. I, I can confirm. Okay. I was in. I, I was in Mechels. I was in Mechels in Muncie, and I saw I see them ordering meatballs. Okay. All right. Sure. Well, Swedish listeners, know. send in your application to to the WhatsApp, and also tell us if you eat meatballs. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and the third thing that that I had is, I, and I think this is brilliant. And full disclosure, I have we have discussed this, you know, off air before, but because of the the, the prevalence and 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 um, popularity of all these charity raise it drive up, Sky Mall, whatever these uh, fundraising campaigns, what if there was a raise it or charity subscription service, where with different tiers? So like if you where you pay a certain amount a, a certain amount a month and your name is on every campaign and they and they can't bother you anymore like you don't get any emails you don't get any texts you don't get anything and like you could like block the status and your name is is already there so let, let's say like $18 a month you're on you're on three campaigns or five campaigns um you know $72 you're on 10 and and $100 a month you're on 180 you're on like all of them and you never have to be bothered with it, with with these uh, status updates or emails ever again. So, so right, you mean, like problem, you're just ignoring like all of the logistics of this. You're just saying like just as I'm an just, as an idea. Don't get bothered with detail. <laughs> don't bother me with details. First, we have to figure out how we're getting the listeners on yeah. the show. Our, our, our <laughs> intern will take care of it. I, right. I'm just saying, like imagine I mean, in theory, never, yes, it's a nice idea. I think it would be great. Someone has to do this already. Like super raise it or raise them or I don't know whatever. Raise your kids. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. But I think it would be great, like just to never. How much would you pay to never have to be bothered with a raise it or charity campaign again? In theory, probably a lot. But I mean, just just this, just this week, I I I, I and I've, I we've mentioned this before, but like just this week, eleven campaigns, eleven charity raise it drive up, mark up, whatever it is, campaigns. The thing is, I mean, you this could week. just ignore them. You know, it's not. You can't ignore them. You can't ignore them. You're dedicating time. You close the bathroom door. You lock it. You go to your WhatsApp status. You open up the Tehillim. You accidentally say it, and then and then you go to the next one. And then someone with their stupid, you know, uh, raise it campaigns or, or drive up. If I donated to your campaign, it wasn't stupid. I appreciated it. it was it, it was near and dear to my heart. Um, but I'm just saying, like, I would pay. I, I I'm saying if I had to, like, I feel pressure to give. Like, okay, you're you're, you're building a shul, you're you're uh, building a new toilet. You need like whatever it is. I'm saying like everybody just puts up a charity or raise a campaign. I would probably pay a a decent amount. Probably I would. I don't know if I would take the gold tier, the gvir tier. Hey, it rhymes. The gvir <laughs> tier. <laughs> but but I I would I would probably do like seventy two a month to get at least on like twelve campaigns. Oh. 
I have the most important question on it, though. Forget about the logistics. Can you use yeah. MICER money to pay for this thing that prevents you from... Very good question. I would say yes. <laughs> I would say probably <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's going to the duck, I mean... Menachem, you know what? It, check, it, check your literature. Check your literature. Check your literature. <laughs> 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 I guess it's a fair question, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think... I would I say think... probably not. Well, I mean, the, the problem is that if someone's saying he's, he would pay 72, I mean, you do the math on how many campaigns that actually donates to. Whatever, it, it, that's irrelevant. The point is, If it's under 18, buck. you may as well not put your name on the donation, right? Because it, it, the number comes No, but that's it. the whole point. Okay, but that's like anything. Spotify, Netflix. Okay, Spotify, right? Let's just say Spotify for, for a second. Right? Are you... Let's say you didn't have a Spotify subscription. Are you buying ten dollars worth of music a month? No, but the point is, once you're giving, once you're paying that nine ninety nine a month, you're getting way more than nine ninety nine worth of music. So the same thing. Am I giving seventy two dollars a month to charity so campaigns? Yeah, just, probably because of the because there's so many of them. But I'm just saying, like, so you're saying it just, just shows not. up. It shows up with what amount? Or is um, the amount that it shows up with depend on how much music, money we've you We've already established that the logistics are not being worked out. This is just. <laughs> well, no, I'm trying to answer the question of, and um, would I would I use it? I think that's I, I think you know what? I think that's a good point. I think it's part of like the package, meaning that that would also increase the dollar amount. So, like, let's say if you gave whatever the unlimited campaigns tier is, right, where you sh your name shows up in unlimited tiers, like it also even within that, if let's say you give you know 180 a month, it shows up as 36, right? If you so give 360. Right, but even if you give if you give three hundred and sixty, it shows up that you're like seventy two to that campaign, and it and it goes up you know more, you know more and more, and there's also it opens it up to like corporate accounts, right? You know for the the whole the, the whole corporate. I think this is genius. I personally think this is genius. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Everybody else, Shmoney Esrei thoughts um, if you have. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So mine isn't really. Shmoney Esrei thought. I mean, I guess you'll see in a second when it was in Dominic. And I'm telling your roommate to lower the music. It's really loud. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't you, think he's even. Like. I don't even think it's music. I think he's like watching sports highlights or something. <laughs> but um, what was it? Oh yeah. So um, when you're, this is. I'm sure many people have thought about this. Like when you're saying, I keep call hey. Uh, um, and then just want to make right. sure you don't say Elilim and Hashem too close together. So right. I feel like that's just one of those things that you just that people just stress about a lot for no reason. So <laughs> yeah. when I was thinking about that, I was just trying to think of other things in Judaism that we just stress about for no reason. I was thinking, I, do you, I, I don't know if this is just me, but do you ever just worry that you're going to put on your Shel Rosh accidentally before your Shel Yad? Yes, but, oh my, oh, and, forget, like, not even just putting it on. Take it out first. Right. Like, then, I, I, I obsess you take it over. Out, then, like you, it's just, it's it's so irrational, and I never do it. But it's just something that every once in a while just pops up in my head, and I get stressed out about it for no reason. Yeah, it just doesn't 100%. make sense. Very good call. Yeah, a hundred percent. And there's, I feel like there's so many of them. Like, um, not like every like hearing every single word of Parsha Zahar, but like, <laughs> um. <laughs> Or but this is just or the Megillah. Yeah, I guess it's what it goes to good. Yeah, but the Megillah is a little bit less younger. because it's so long. But uh. did you ever have the one when you're younger and you're the kid who holds like the second Sefer for Tyra for davening, for, like for for laning? Yeah, and you're just worried that your arms are, are just going to stop working and the Sefer Tyra is going to fall out. Or of your if hand? yeah, if I get Hagba, like yeah, it just. I, 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 I'll tell you. Did, I personally. Wait one second. Did you did you guys ever uh, practice before you did Hagba the first time? Never. No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, you, okay, that means we're not come dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just testing the waters here, but guess I'm the only one. Yeah, you totally didn't either, right? <laughs> oh yeah, def oh yeah, definitely. Oh, that's good. Wow. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, me, totally. Yeah, yeah. You're doing like kettlebell I, squats and weirdos. Who does that? <laughs> no, well, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you something that me, I. Me and my friend, we were like rolling the safer Torah once to like, get it to the spot. Like we should just practice hug by now. Okay, so we did. <laughs> like, okay, I guess we could do it now. That was back when Sefer Torah were big and men were bigger. Men. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good callback. Um, I'll tell you something that I stress about very irrationally. Psicha. I just like it's gonna fall out. I the, think... Sefer, the, the guy before didn't put the chain back. Okay, it not that, hold it. I, that and, I've and, never and, thought about, but now I probably yeah. <laughs> now I am. Why would you gonna, even say that? 
I, I, it's it's always in my head. It's like, okay, number one, okay, do they do like the the drawstring? Like, right. and, that, and is that it like I think we've spoken about, but like just not knowing how to do psicha in a different show. Right? Yeah, we have spoken but, about like yeah. I've always analogized. Like, it I've to, never to, thought about the sefer Torah falling out. It's always I'm petrified, and also when I put it back, also like, okay, I did it, but like, did I do it enough? Like. Shama, you know what? Why you know, are you doing this to me? I, because because you know what? Because misery loves company, and I'm telling you, if I got psicha by shachers and I go back to that shul like for mincha, I'm convinced. I am convinced that all the sifrei Torah, even the ones that I didn't take out, are going to come falling out you? like on a conveyor belt. Like I'm I'm convinced of it. Like I I, I I'm telling you, honest to God, like I'm always nervous. Like when he, when the guy closes it, closes the RN, like and and they're, and they're bringing the sifrei Torah, like I exhale, just like oh thank God, like. <laughs> Now it's his problem. <laughs> this has never even been something that has even come. Well, now you will. Now you are going mind. to worry about it. I know I will. <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah, misery loves uh, misery loves company. Th- there is another one though that I think this is just specifically me and specifically the shul that I daven in. Like I'm sure even no one else in the shul this bothers, but they there's two tzedakah boxes that they go around with. One mm-hmm. is one says tzedakah, one says bedaka bias. So like right. if I'm giving a dollar, like I'm not giving two dollars. I'm not giving to both of them. Right. And I'm Turn not gonna like half. put a dollar in one and like take out fifty cents and put in the other one. Right. So I try to like keep a mental cheshpin in my mind <laughs> of the one I did last time. I'm like, okay, I did that one last time, and this time that think- stresses me out every time because <laughs> I have to think about it. And then I started what I started recently doing is just putting it in the one that's closer to me when the guy's holding it. Like right. it's not always sometimes I have to think about that, like, is that one closer? <laughs> it's just right. it's been something that's been stressing me out a lot recently, and I don't really know what to do. I so. think what you have to do is you have to do the Shlomo Mel situation and offer to cut the dollar in half. And then whichever Tadaka box says, you know, no, 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 let the other one have it. That's the real one that you're supposed to give. Exactly. That, that sounds like a great idea. It's a, by the way, that, that, that distinction, because like, yeah, I mean, the, you know, I, I mean, I dive in usually at Shiners. So like they have the same type of type, type of setup. It's where it's like, it's, it's always the, the, the dichotomy between the two, like pushkas are is hilarious to me. It's like the first one is like, Ania Irko, Yesimim, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Bedeka bias. Like, okay, worthy cause and probably going for toilet paper. <laughs> like, <Okay>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> by the way, I, I, I forgot what I, one of the reasons why I was thinking of the Shell Roche thing also is because I, I had a dream that I put on my Shell Roche before. <laughs> I was like freaking out that I woke up. I was like, am I re- is this really what I'm having nightmares about? What is going on? Well, when they write when they write your biography, they're gonna be like, Manalo was sleeping one time." <laughs> right, he woke up in a cold sweat. <laughs> it's like it's it's you're joking, but it's kind of true. Like I woke up, I was like, oh. well, it happens to be that leads know. very nicely into the the only real Shmon Asri thought that I ever had. I got to davening very late, um, meaning one time in the past three months, um, and I um, I was in the middle of Shmon Asri while I guess someone was leaving early or something like that. And I saw the guy turn to the guy next to him. One guy's wrapping his film. The other guy turns to him to talk, and he moves the shell rush to the side and then starts talking and then puts the shell rush back to continue davening. I was like, I don't think that counts as not talking in your in your, in, in your I mean, telling. Does that count? Technically, you're not wearing it. But... I remember matter? when I, when I when I was in high school, my Rebbe like took me out in the middle of davening, and he like told me to like take off my shell so that he could talk to me. Okay, that and sentence he... could have ended very differently. <laughs> and <laughs> but <laughs> no, but in that case, I I like took it off, I didn't move it to the side. But he wanted to like he wanted to take. I know you. I know you weren't stressing about I that type of scenario. Okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it had to be in the middle of davening either, but whatever. Oh God, this is just. I wasn't even, li- I wasn't even listening to what you just said. I just heard you, Rebbe, took you out and told you to take off, and that's all I heard. <laughs> okay. Touched by a Rebbe before. <laughs> and should we get into the <laughs> All right, let's do a hard trans- transition into the, uh, the Mizrachban. So, because we're starting season three of the Back of the Shul podcast, oh, God, no, um, you know, it's a monumental accomplishment. Momentous, monumental. Which one is it? Momentous or monumental, or both? Both. Both. Sure. I mean, sure. it could be wrote momentous and monumental. Right. Whatever it is. 
So, yeah, we were doing the, the Miserchvant of Jewish accomplishments, you know, which I think I think is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not sure why we... I mean, we, I, th- I just think we should just never explain it and just yeah, I agree. what it is, and that's it. Right. That's true. It's if the have to, if we, Jewish accomplishments. That's yeah, exactly. It. Exactly. Um, okay, which one of you is going to be the record keeper? Actually, you know what? I, oh, I, I, I I hold on. No wait, wait, one idea. second, one second, one second. Exactly. Hold on. Hold on. I know I didn't go first on the last one. Oh, um, Menachem, you're supposed to be the official score. Yeah, one second. The last one was me, Shlomo, Yosef. That means this one should be Shlomo, Yosef, me. I think, if that's how we were doing it. Yeah, I'll take your it. word for it. Okay, yeah, fine. Sure. Fine. So I'll go first, as we have just established. Um, let's see. There's so many good ones. All right, I, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a, a straightforward one. I know I usually do off the beaten path ones, and trust me, I have. Um, I'll go with an easy one: finishing shots. Ah, that's got to be the number one. Yeah, I I, yeah. I think I think it's and like, and by the way, finishing shots multiple times, but the undefined number of multiple yes, times. Yes, very yes, <laughs> exactly. I was I was gonna get to that. Yeah, and yeah. also huge. you've made sure that nobody can pick making a scene. Oh yeah, no, that's a yeah. box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, box like nothing. Yeah. It's just yeah, but I, you know, I think that's a that's a it, meaning. I think it's a fair pick. I don't think that was like taking another one away. Yeah, this no, is like the peak sure. of making yeah. a seum. I understand. I I I feel like the pick could have been like making a seum, just like in the next level finishing shots. Like it's a smaller accomplishment than a bigger accomplishment. Right. I mean, yeah. I think I think you know, adjacent to it would be someone, the guy who always makes a seum in the nine days. You know, like yeah, like that would be a subset. That would be a subset of it, you know. Making us always the guy who always makes us see him on Erev Pesach. Right. Which, by the way, is the biggest cop out of all time because, like, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to give anything. It's like macaroons. <laughs> like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the guy who does the nine days, like, first of all, everybody loves him because, uh, you know, it's the nine days and he's doing a flesh exeum and does a whole gala barbecue and whatever. And this guy, yeah, I guess the Bechayrim, like, Menachem and I, like, we, 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 we love him. But, like, I have a Bechayr. I have to fast now. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Still, your macaroons suck. Okay, yeah, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mine is going to be um, being honored at a dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's funny because this could apply in the non-Jewish world as well, but let's be real. It's only an accomplishment in the Jewish world. <laughs> right, right. And also, I mean, I think there's a, there's, there's a caveat like to that. You had to you have to introduce your speech by the, by the dinner as saying like, I wasn't, whatever they, I wasn't going to accept it. Like, you know, I, I didn't really want to accept it. It's not really my, they, yeah, it's, it's they not me. They asked me again and again and I had to say yes. You could give the, the classic, they, 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 they first asked the, the smartest guy they knew, they asked the most respected right, right, guy they knew, yeah. then they asked me and I said, you asked right. me three times. Yeah. No one's Very ever good. said that one before. Right. right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, that was a good pick. All right, Menachem. All right. Um, so my first pick is going to be um, being ready early for Shabbos. Like not like yes. being yeah. ready on time. Like actually taking a shower, getting dressed, doing everything you need to do, and there's still being time before Menachem. It's well, like, I'm like going to take issue yeah. with this because even though it's a great accomplishment, all of these have to be in the realm of possibility. And <laughs> well, I was going to say it's like the white whale of Shabbos prep. Like right, it's, right. it's just. <laughs> It's one of those things that we all strive for and probably will never actually accomplish. But it's one of those things that, like, this is the this is the thing that we're going to try to do, and it it's probably like the, won't the, happen. But the but Bryce of version of the Mishnah that talks about what the Tanam used to do, the version that didn't make it into the Mishnah is, is talking about how they, oh he swept the floor and he prepared the candles and he made the fish and they argued about. You know what time Mincha really is, and they both stressed out. And in right. the 18 minutes, he was running out with his hair wet. You know. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay. All right, second um, one. My second one is going to be the Iron Dome. Oh, okay. So I had that on my list also. Ah, oh, okay. We're going like that. Okay. I was. I... Okay, I'm glad this, you did that because that gives me an excuse. Also. Mainstream early, yeah. Than someone else I, I did find it interesting that you went with Iron Dome rather than the atom bomb. 
Okay, wait, wait, okay. Joe. Yo, what are, are you doing? I have. A, we all have lists here. We all, we all have that on our list. You're really yeah. gonna pick the atom bomb after he picks the Iron Dome? Come on. It's on the list. I'm not saying I was gonna pick it, but it's yeah. Well, I mean, now, you don't think we Googled Jewish inventions? It. Like, yeah, every, we all did that. <laughs> all right, Joe, you go. I mean, you can pick atom bomb if you want. Not a fan. Um, I'm gonna go with being called an Oscan. Not bad. Not bad. It's. The, it's it's it goes a step further than that though, which is being able to introduce yourself as an Oscan. Right. I mean, I guess the the FJJ kind of diluted the term right. Oscan, and, and I'm very happy that they did that. By the way, kudos it's, to to the 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 crew there for calling like a bunch of three year olds Oscanim because I always get a kick out of it. It's the joke is still funny. It's better than I mean, like in order to to get smicha, you can either learn halachas and take tests. Or you can commit a crime, and then the the news will then call you Jewish <laughs> rabbi. You know. Right? Yeah, Hasidic. Or I, I love when they call everybody's Hasidic. Like I, I I remember once reading an article like Hasidic music superstar Yaakov Shwekich. Like, dude, I mean, <laughs> you gotta know some differences between like Hasidic and Sephardic and like yeah, whatever. Um, okay, so I got the next two right. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do my my off the beaten one. Finding a deal before Dan's deals. Is that even? This goes back to it yes. has to be in, within the no, realm of I've done it. I I promise I've done it. I've done it. There was one like eight years ago with the flights. It was a massive like Delta glitch or whatever it is, and I found it before Dan's deals. How how could you possibly find it? It was seven it? in the morning. It, I had off in between. It was like intercession in um in between in between fall and and spring semester. And I I wanted to go with a few friends. We wanted to go away. I found tickets, and at first I'm like I'm looking I want to go to L.A. And I'm seeing like first class tickets for like 50 bucks. And at first I thought, I thought it was, oh, because there's multiple stops or I don't know. I thought there was like something, whatever it was. It, and then I saw that it got even cheaper. Like it was like 30, 36 dollars or something like, something like that. It was, it was really cheap. So I told uh, like, I think it was like four of us that wanted to go. I told um, two others, like, give me your info. I'm telling you, like, look at this. I sent them a screenshot. Like, look at this. Like these tickets are dirt cheap. Um, so I got their info. Meanwhile, we're trying to get like someone else's info and I keep, I, I keep trying to like call him. I'm texting him nonstop, like blitzing his phone. The other two guys are blitzing his phone also. And he was sleeping the whole time. And I'm like, we got to get this before, before Dan's deals. Did you at out. least book the first three? No. Yeah, I did. And, 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 and I was like, I'm checking Dan's deals. Like, please don't get it. Please don't find it. Please don't find it. And then Dan's deals found it. And blasted it out to, to everybody, and it went up. I booked the tickets. I, uh, I got a bill for five thousand um, dollars because it was first class. Whatever, I got a can't. Whatever, it was refunded and, and everything like that. But I did find it before Dan's deals found. Wait, but it didn't even work though. Okay, but the, no, because I couldn't get the guy's info. It was I was it was about an hour and a half. Uh, this whole thing took a, a, Why about didn't an hour you book and a half. Your- guys tickets though. because i needed I, I had we need to stay at this guy's house he was the one that, that lived in la we oh. need to stay at his house okay well um <laughs> yeah i probably should have put, put in that detail um yeah so fi- finding a deal before before dan's before dan's deals is is probably the pinnacle of of uh jewish jewish accomplishments um going a little bit more a little bit more mainstream okay so it's it's a little bit piggybacking off, off of what menachem said i think it's a little different though but you guys will, will let me know not forgetting anything for Shabbos, like it, it's it's a little I know, different. I know like, what you mean. Yeah, it's like, like it's, a, not, it's, like it's more travel, of a when you're going away for Shabbos. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. But just like I, not forgetting anything. I think that, I think that is actually a it, really good one. The way you yeah. define it is like you never go through Shabbos with the moment of ah, we forgot the exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Whether you're going away or whether you're home, there's you don't have that moment of like. By the way, show me. You should no. expand it. By the way, that's, it shouldn't just be on. going away for Shabbos. It should be any version of going away. No, I, I no. I'm no. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying not well, going but, away for Shabbos. But like it, the most common situation is when you go away for Shabbos. Right. Not right. Okay. But like just stum. Like, oh, I forgot to take this out, or I forgot to set that. You know, just not forgetting anything for Shabbos. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's, a that's a very good one. Good one. So, I think this is my favorite one so far, but it's. Being a big enough person to be able to decline a wedding invitation, unless you're the Masada Kedushin. <laughs> Wait, ex- explain that. Being a big enough deal that unless you're the Masada oh, okay, Kedushin, okay. you can decline the wedding invitation. <laughs> Trumbo, did you also like, think he was talking about being fat enough or something? Yeah, I, 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 I thought <laughs> yeah, it was a weight <laughs> thing, and I, 
I realized I it, yeah. <laughs> before you did, but I realized that's what you thought also. Yeah. <laughs> But like, I mean, like that is. I thought he was going along the lines of like, I'm sorry, I'm too fat, I can't show up to your wedding. Right, like the smorg is too tempting. I'm kind of doing keto right now. I I guess that doesn't make sense because you could eat, but whatever. Okay. If you can like. Yeah, I I, now I understand what you're saying. I get. If you can be the guy who's like, yeah, uh, Rebbe, you want to be able to come? uh, I want to give you a kriyas ksuba. No, sorry. (laughs) Anything less than uh, yeah. Yeah, anything less than cedar. Okay. All right, Malcolm, um, you go. So my third pick is going to be, uh, this is I guess would um, would not apply to everyone, but being able to get through a vert without someone saying a mirror session by you to you, so that's nice. <laughs> okay, that's a little niche. <laughs> I <but> know yeah. <laughs> it's more it it doesn't apply to everyone. But you know what? And, it's a huge accomplishment. Right. It is. You know, um, think about the the logistics of what it would take to get through an entire part without someone saying that. Right. Uh, okay, okay, and then my last pick is going to be Five Minute Mara. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it happens to be, Menachem, you're talking to people who dive in for a while at a shul where it was 13 minute mental Mara for. No, <laughs> no, it's not, not routinely. Not routinely, but it's been done, yeah. Yeah. Um,. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, Joe, you they, do the, they do the Hechi Myers, you know. Um, uh, last one. I, I'm going to go with one that, I, that, again, that I like, which is um, being the closer for Musa. You know, when Davening took a really long time and everybody immediately turns to you, be like, all right, come on, get us out of here quickly. Right. I think we did that with the uh... – Shul thrills or something like that, but yeah, it yeah, it's, be, but yeah, it's 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 an accomplishment. You mean you have to build enough of a rep to get to the right. point where everybody turns to you, you know? So right, okay. So my my last one, I honestly can't believe it hasn't been said, but forty nine for forty nine. That I was I was gonna yeah, say that it was, on that my was list, one of my but, honorable mentions. But okay, the the thing is with the pro- proliferation of the statuses and all that stuff. Yeah, the accomplishment it's has been much has, easier. It it, it, it definitely, definitely has. has gotten a lot easier. I that that was really my thought in not saying it as that right, like, like it's nowadays, been diluted. It's like triple doubles. Like nowadays, everyone's right. doing it now. <laughs> nowadays, the hardest one is like the second night of Sira. Well, it's any sh- no, but one. still every Friday yeah, every, night. Is every hard. Friday night is really hard, but that's right. like Friday nights are really the only hard nights at this point. Yeah, and then you could just say the next night that oh, I really remembered before Menchov. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who, who's going to call me out? <laughs> Which, by the way, would be another phenomenal uh, misrefund. Which would be the misrefund of Myra Hatters. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. That's very good. Okay, so uh, honorable mentions. I'll just do. I'll just do it just because uh, we'll go in order. Here you go. No. Um, Okay, yeah, so I guess kind of related to the sphere thing, staying up Shavuos night, which, by the way, as I get older, is that much more of an accomplishment. Um, putting up a sukkah. I, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. By the way, and putting up a sukkah with no help, that's got to be number, that, that's, that's got to be huge. Then you just a show off. Like, yeah. you're, you're just a show off. I'm sorry. By the way, just going back to the, to the Shavuos night thing, do you feel guilty if you don't stay up? No, I didn't stay up this year. Uh, I don't feel a shred of guilt. <laughs> okay, I was just curious. <laughs> um, Google, people forget, was invented by Jews. <laughs> ways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ways. Ways, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, about, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Or what was what was that thing that the, the microchip or something that the Israelis did? Uh, IBM, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, hitting your raise it or charity goal. <laughs> um, <laughs> just based on the st- on the on the graphics that I see in people's statuses, I guess it's a big deal. Um, although having worked on charity campaigns, I could tell you not as big of a deal as you think. Um, <laughs> or just lot, keep moving the a lot posts. of manipulation behind the scenes. Okay, yeah. Um, turning over your kitchen for Pesach. <laughs> I mean, Getting just to overall, like cleaning the house for Pesach. Right. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, getting to a Brooklyn wedding in time for the smorg, and I'm not even a big smorg guy, but if you got in time for the, for the right. for, for the smorg, like and that was way, an you could be living in Brooklyn, and it's still in yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, I mean, I, I lived in. I used to live in Brooklyn. Like, it's still an accomplishment. Um, yeah, I mean, and my it last, go, one, it goes hand to hand with. I mean, this well something. 
forget the first part of what I said, but okay. if you need it, you want to get there in time, like towards the end where you're there with enough time to eat something, but not enough time where you're just standing around awkwardly. <laughs> so but that, that's any wedding. That's any right, wedding. But, that's but not that rough. part goes hand in hand with getting to show like right before birth. Right, right. The sweet so, spot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, my last two, um, having a unique perm theme. Um, that's an accomplishment. That's and the last one, this is just for guys, but every guy over the age of bar mitzvah is going to appreciate this. Nailing that shell rice placement. Like the perfect square between the eyes. Like when, when you when you nail that, it's like there's nothing you can't do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go next. I have um, being the guy who takes either uh, Kalim or Kofi Tess. When people are learning either Mishnayis or St. Right. Helen. That's um, a flex, hosting, yeah. Also hosting a parlor meeting. Um, <laughs> having <laughs> having a multiple adjective introduction. Like, not harab. Harab ha You know, that's... Um, Good. A Rebbe card or picture that people hang on the wall. Um, being the guy that Masif the guys talk about, whether in sports or learning or money, right, right. being the but guy that's like, that's the, like, that's like the, the Mizrach band of rock stars that I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, being the get back guy at Hasanas, you know, who, who makes sure right. that the circle continues being the, puts the guy, puts the Hasan on the shoulders guy. Um, yeah. and then Wait, by like, which point is this by, is this before by like, the introduction coming in? By the intro- okay. Yeah. When they come in. Yeah. Um, nailing a Haftara. And my favorite one, which is nailing the tefillin rap by like Rosh Chodesh, where you you beat the oh, positive. Yes, 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 that's that is a very yeah, that's, good one. Good polls, okay. good polls. You, you guys took a lot of mine. Right. So they were pretty <laughs> close to mine. All, all he has, all do... Malcolm has left is like genetic engineering, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> getting stuff on sale. <laughs> but um, no, so I, a surgeon. I, yeah, I I thought you were gonna say. Uh, one mind that was very similar, but leaning a partial like after your bar mitzvah, like aside from your bar mitzvah partial, like, li- right. like leaning another partial after right. that. Um, actually, not listening to music for the entire sphera. <laughs> um, like learning for a half an hour without batala. <laughs> Again, like we understand, it has to be within the realm of possibility, <laughs> but it's something to like think that maybe. Um, is that it? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> and the atom bomb. <laughs> right. And the, of course, all three of us had atomic bomb written down. But... Right. So you could do theory of relativity rather than the atom bomb. I get Right. Yeah, there were a few. You did the, um, one of your picks, right, was the without the Amir Tashem by you. So, like, there, there are a few of those, like, in terms of, like, the, the responses or, like, the, 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 the sayings, like, getting through it's it's i don't know if it's getting getting through a certain i'm trying to think of like the social scenario where someone says a vart and like i had that thought also like i had, I had that question also you know like <laughs> like getting or through the, something like there's also a bunch of variations of like nailing something like nailing a hagba nailing uh hataras nadarim perfectly <laughs> like no like stumbling over the words nailing, nailing the seam the the whole right the, the, the or, or the kaddish after the yeah. <laughs> like, there's there's a lot of variations of this but, right yeah. no that that, that the hataras nadarim like kilu hayisi fartum mic drop <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. So these are all good. Uh, send us, send us in um, anything that we, anything that we missed. Wow, it is really late. We were recording this very late on a Um I think that's, I think that's everything. So yeah, like we said at the, at the beginning, we will be having having listeners on. That part is serious. The sending in applications to the WhatsApp. That's not. Gonna I'm not happen. saying like it's not serious. I'm not saying that it's serious. I'm just saying like I'm just leaving it up there. Also, um, not serious is send in a video application preferably. Wait, sorry, what, Joe? What also say? not serious is strawberry ice cream being the best ice cream. Oh, that was that was very serious. I just want to make that abundantly clear. Was that? Um, well, did we even say? Did we say that like after I the part know. we cut? I don't even Just know. to recap, Manaflam ate strawberry ice cream and said it's the best ice cream and ate it with pork. Okay, no, good. Now we're covered. Um, yeah. Okay, okay we, yeah. So we still don't know how we're going to get people. Yeah, I mean, we'll. On the pod. Either, either we'll post it in the WhatsApp or we'll release like uh, just a short audio clip on how to do it or 
we'll send out an email but to all our subscribers. everyone just... <laughs> 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 basically, everyone just apply to the WhatsApp status so that if we want to say something, you'll get it. I mean, yes. you'll, you'll, we'll post a link in right. the at a minimum, episode at a minimum, to, to whatever. Be part you know of the WhatsApp I'm, group, you know so saying. that way you'll... Yes, being a Twitter follower mm -hmm. is not enough. You must be a Twitter follower, Instagram follower, <laughs> WhatsApp subscriber. Like and, and subscribe. <laughs> preferably if you could also... In-person applications are also welcome. Um, you can visit Menachem. <laughs> Link in the video description down below. <laughs> Subscribe. In the, or if you want to check out our other content. Yeah. <laughs> Press over there. Yeah. I don't know. Is it here? Is it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. we'll definitely really be back. Good, I, I do have to say there's a really good thing we prepared so well for how we're going to do this. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. For the entire theme of the season. you know. Season yeah. of the listener. 